Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the uh, personality type application tutorial. And so if you haven't watched part one yet, make sure to watch part one. This is in the link down below. Um, if you don't watch that, this stuff is not going to make any sense to you. So uh, without further ado, we're going to create a, uh, a list of questions for this app. And it's going to be a little, mm, a little bit more involved and while I was thinking of the easiest solution for this, I came up with um, creating a list of questions and hopefully it should be fairly intuitive what I'm doing, um, but make sure to let me know if it's, if it's uh, confusing. So I'm gonna create a questions list and then it's going to be an array of question objects equals open bracket, close bracket. And inside of this array, I'm just gonna take the question that we've created like that and paste it into that array. So now we have an array of questions um, called, called questions list. And we wanna use this to power our table view controller here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna try to access this question from within the table view controller. Um, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna say, okay, I know that the view controller that is inside the navigation controller stack is um, of a certain index. So what I mean is, let's say I wanna access the, the question, um, what is your favorite type of food? I will do that by saying this. So if uh, let index navigation controller accessing the view controllers and index of self. This will give me the index of this view controller on the navigational stack. So the question can be accessed like this. Questions list uh, index. And that will give us the question that we, that we want. So I'm gonna return question dot, uh, Answers that count. Is that good? Okay. If let count equal that, turn uh, count, and then just delete that. And then for this, we're going to do um, the same thing. And what I mean is, we'll do this. So that copies all of that get the question here and then that will replace all of that and so the header will use that question the question string now and then we will also get the cells answer string um, very similarly, just taking that. And then that. And then for this, it's a little differently because we can't exactly access uh, the question by selecting it outside of the list. And, um, Maybe I'll explain you why. But first, I'm gonna access it by using questions list. And I'm gonna say, um, uh, what is it? Uh, maybe, well, let's get the index first. So let's get the index. And then index equals index path that item remove DC lines and so here the compiler is saying it's um, question is question list is a let constant right here so we can't access it directly like that until we change this to a var that way we can change the struct properties um, like so now we don't need line 80 anymore. And question is no longer a property of table view controller. So 
we access it uh, doo -doo -doo, like uh, doo -doo -doo. we access it like this and so this is going to be index that and we want questions list so if we run that nothing is going to change we still see the question and upon entering um, one of the cells we see the same results controller now what we can do is we can add additional questions onto this array by just specifi specifying question um, so let's see what do you do for a living and for answers we'll we'll say something like uh, paleontologist uh, was an actor chef waitress um, as you might have noticed the theme of this app is Friends, the very famous show in America, and actually internationally, I believe. So for selected answer is nil. And um, now I wanna push the next question upon selecting this cell here. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna say here, instead of pushing that results controller, which is this stuff, I'm gonna first check if index of myself or the index that I'm currently um, being represented in that view controller to stack if I'm less than uh, view controllers that count so you have to unwrap this stuff like that um, if I'm less than the count minus one so if there's two questions um, and if I'm zero and one I'm gonna return a controller. I'm gonna push a different um, question controller onto the stack. So let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Navigation controller push and sorry, question controller true. And otherwise, if the index is Pretty much, if the index is the last question, we're going to push the results um, instead. And line 78, line 79 saying, OK, if we have more questions left, we just push another question controller onto the stack. So let's see what that looks like. And so hitting that, I still get um, the results controller because index looks like it's not responding properly. Take a look at why. So index is navigation controller. Okay. And the reason is because I typed in the incorrect count object. I'm gonna do that. Questions list. And let's see what we get. Question. Okay, so now you see the second question of um, the questionnaire. If we wanted to add a final question just to show you that this works. I'm going to do that. Question string. Let's see. Were you on a break? Right. So this is a yes, no question. Um, specifying the answer is like so, no. And that's all we got to do. Now, it's very easy to modify your app um, in terms of adding questions onto the application by simply going into this list and then instantiating a new question object. So very easy. And Nagi, paleontologist, were you on a break? Yes, um, you're a total Ross. Um, now the questions is is being selected properly, but this answer is still um, it's not responding to this question list any longer because, as you can see, results controller still expects a question to be set on it, but nowhere in this. Um, or it's actually only looking at the very last question in the the view controllers that we're like selecting things off of. So let's say for example I hit no. It's gonna it's gonna go to Joey because that's the last question that I selected. 
So in order for us to like, let's say at the very end of the questionnaire, we want to calculate a total score of all of your questions. And then based off that score, we calculate what type of personality you are. Um, we want to do that by instead of using just question, we use question list, but not creating a variable. We will, let's see. Uh, okay. We're going to take this entirely, removing the variable, and then in view did load, we're going to access, um, let's see. We're going to access questions list by typing in there like that. And then we're going to keep track of a score variable. So starting score at zero, we're in this case, <laughs> we're going to say score is equal to score plus question dot selected answer index and unwrapping it to be that. Now, um, so the easier way of writing that line 116 is to just say plus equal question dot selected and unwrapping it with a bang. Now we have score, which is a, um, it's pretty much a, a, a running um, counter for the answers you've selected inside of the questionnaire. And when score is of some value, let's say, let's see, so names, score, and, uh, okay. So let's remove this line right here. So I'm going to show you what this does and tell you why it's not so great. So let's hit zero, 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 and we get Ross. And that's what we were, what we would expect because the score is score plus zero, 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 still zero. Now, if we do one, one, or let's go back. Uh, okay. One, 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 we get the third or the, the, f yeah, the third item inside of this names array because score is zero plus one, one, one is three. And this is zero, one, two, three, you get Monica. And that's why we're seeing Monica. Now the problem with this is let's say we hit waitress, which is, let's see, zero, one, two, three. So three, one, uh, let's go back one more question. Okay. So this is three, three, and one. So the total of that is seven. Yet no, you get a crash because names, the, the seventh index of names is nothing. So we're getting an array index out of range. Now to fix that, um, we're going to use some, uh, this is called modulo arithmetic. Um, I think that's what it's called. And to use that, to use the percent sign means we're going to grab the remainder of a division. So let me just type this out real fast. Names dot count. This line says that if, if score is seven and names is of length six, so we have six items in here, score modulo uh, six, so seven modulo six, the remainder is one, so we get one. And I'm going to run that and show you that it is actually true. So three, three, one, and you get uh, seven modulo six, which is one, and names one is Joey. That's how this modulo works. So for example, uh, five modulo uh, two, and it gives you a remainder of one. Uh, five modulo three will give you a remainder of two. That's how modulus math works. It's, you know, nothing too tricky, but it's not exactly common in terms of uh, like common commonly known math so that's that's that and um let's see what else is there uh that is pretty much it um uh so so seeing how this was a little bit trickier than i had hoped to show i i definitely just included this as a part two kind of a bonus of these tutorial and as a kind of a wrap up 
the, the, the real main thing to take away from this tutorial is to use navigation controllers and table view controllers whenever you want to present a, a type of app that has, I guess, pages coming in from the right. And then as you build up this hierarchy of, um, uh, of controllers, you can actually just pop it off really, really, really easily. So the last thing I want to do is let's say I'm at the very end and instead of just hitting back to get to the previous question, let's say I want to hit a button called restart or done. And I want that to take me to the very first question, right? Which typically um, there's an option to do that in the UI. And to do that, we will say navigation item, right bar button equals UR, UI bar button. And we use the title initializer. And we're gonna call it done. And style will be plain. And the target will be, um, let's call it self. And the selector action will be done. And then we say done. We'll perform navigation controller dot pop to root with animation of true. So we do blah, 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 and then hit done. Pops you to the very first question of the questionnaire. And that's how a lot of apps are made. It's, it's common to simply push view controllers on top of each other using uh, table view controllers or collection view controllers. Because as you notice, a lot of iOS apps, it's, it's all the same thing. It's all just a bunch of lists. And inside of each list is like um, some views. So hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and wait for the next tutorial. Thanks.